This lesson on building automation systems is a site overview. And so my vision with this was to take you from start to finish of a building automation system in an actual facility. The, uh, the goal here was to take you through the schematics, the blueprints, the paper, look at the equipment on site, what we're actually touching physically, and then show you the graphics, what it looks like on the computer. And so a little about the site that we look at, it's in North Carolina, it's about 20,000 square feet, and the uh, platform is Tritium Niagara N4, it's a disk tech JS8000. So with all that, I'm hoping that this kind of gives you a grasp or an overall picture of what it looks like. Some of you may have only ever seen paper or what it looks like in a book or on blueprints. So my thought process here, take you through the overall thing from start to finish and maybe it'll give you a little better idea of what's going on. Okay, so here we're looking at a complete system. It's a fan coil unit. It's got a heat pump outside with a condenser. And you can see the thermostat here. And then this line here is the outside air. There's the outside air damper. And then we have our heating and cooling coil over here. So I'll zoom in and show you some of that. The thermostat, or the temperature sensor on the wall. Zooming out, we can see the outside air ductwork and then the damper, so left side's manual, right side's electronic. And then we're gonna show the coil, it's a single coil that's heating and cooling, which is fed from the heat pump outside. And here you have the split system heat pump, obviously outside. Here's the schematic for fan coil unit. The top left here is the outside air damper, so we're controlling that through the BAS and the thermostat space temp sensor it's the top there and then the coil it's a single coil it's controlling the heat and cooling from the outside heat pump and then the graphics um, not a whole lot going on here you can see outside air damper the supply temp and then the pan switch um, would be nice to see some other details but for right now that's what we have Okay, so air handler one and two are here. Um, different controls going on. We got the rib relays up here, telling uh, what's on and off. And then we got um, uh, a sensor below, which is catching that return air. So I'll show you that. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, is you can see all the pipe is blue for the controls. That's a really uh, nice advantage. You can identify what wiring is controls. Looking at the air handler here, I want to show you the differential pressure setup. So you can see this pipe here, it's underneath the filter, it comes up into the sensor, and the other wire going out, or the other tube going out, is the other side of the filter. So I'll zoom in and show you that. So we saw the air handler in person and now we're seeing it on paper. So this is the schematic here, zooming in to the differential pressure switch. So this is the tubes we looked at, uh, you can see they're on both sides of the filter. And then we're going to take a look at the actual graphics. And so here we're looking at what you see when we plug into the Jace, uh, what the user is going to see. And so you can see uh, filter is just shown as normal. So here is the schematic for the controller and we're zooming in on the space temperature sensor here and uh, so you can see that and then just a quick glance at the cut sheets, uh, specification information. Okay 
Okay, so we're looking at the space temperature, the room temperature thermostat here, and what it is, it's just a sensor. And so you can see it's just a blank plate. Um, I'm going to pull it off and you'll see what the back side of it looks like. It's pretty simple. I'll zoom in. So there you see, it's just a pretty simple sensor. It's a two wire, and this is what is um, sending the signal for room temperature, space temperature. Here we're looking at the graphics, and this is the main page. We're looking at AHU number two, so you can see the space temp here, all the way on the right side, AHU number two. That's the thermostat location. And then here you can, can actually see the air handler unit graphics. Um, we're not seeing the space temp here, but just to give you an overview. Here we're looking at the boiler schematic. We'll zoom in on the boiler. You can see start, stop, alarm, status. I'll zoom over to the secondary water pumps. And again, similar status reports. And then we zoom out to the sequence of operation and the boiler stop. All right, so what we're looking at here is two boilers, uh, boiler one, boiler two. Uh, the only controls on here is the boiler one uh, temperature sensor and then boiler two is up here can't really see it's out of the shot but not a whole lot going on right um, I'll zoom in a little bit to show you but I uh, can't really see a whole lot So here's the graphic interface. This is a Tritium N4 platform looking at the boiler layout here. Uh, reheat zones. The controller layout uh, focusing in on the boiler controllers. And here we're going to zoom in on the secondary hot water pumps which I'm about to show you in person. What we're looking at here is the secondary hot water pumps and this one you can actually hear is running, feel it as well. Um, I'll show you a little bit closer but there's two rib relays here, it's converting the low voltage to high voltage down to uh, starters, single phase starters. And then back here, there and there, we have a supply water temperature and a return hot water temperature. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer to show you some of that stuff. So like I said, here's the two rib relays. You can actually see the red light. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it signifies that it's on. Uh, it's feeding the starter. Um, it actually has a run light there. Uh, so the secondary uh, number two is not on. Red light's not on, it's not on run. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple, but kind of gives you a gist of what we're looking at. And I'll take you to the temperature sensors. So the last thing that we discussed was the temperature sensors. One is a supply hot water temperature and then the other is a return hot water temperature. And these are just sensors in the pipes. I'll be able to show you the actual uh, cut sheet for the schematic, right? This is the actual unit that's installed. Here you can see uh, the cut sheet comes in 4 inch, 6 inch, 10 inch, etc. Here's what a typical installation looks like inside the pipe. Uh, there's different mounting methods. You can do a T-mount or a corner mount. And then finally the wiring diagram. The graphics for the boiler hot water system. You can see the left boiler is off. The right boiler is on by the graphics here. And as we zoom in to the secondary hot water pump the top one's on, the bottom pump is off. And you can see the return temperature on the bottom, the supply temperature at the top. This kind of gives you an overview of what we're looking at when we see the graphic interface. So the last thing I wanted to show in the boiler room was a 
emergency stop button that's tied into the controls, as well as the uh, gas valve that can be shut off via the controls. So I'll zoom in and show that. This is the boiler shut off wiring schematic. Uh, you can kind of see how it operates and how it's tying in. And then sequence of operation, um, focusing in on the LP gas emergency power off switch. Uh, that's what we just saw. Okay, so we're on a ladder now and I'm gonna show you the coil and uh, one of the actuators for the hot water. Uh, the first one is the valve actuator and this is allowing the uh, hot water to flow into the coil and then over there you can actually see the sensor which is reading the temperature after the coil. So I'll zoom in and show some of that. the cut sheet for the duct sensor that we saw. And here is the valve actuator. So this is a two-way ball valve. There's the actual unit we were using. Um, top, side, view. And then the schematic, we zoom in. You can see the valve at the bottom there. And then here's the graphics. Um, this is the heating coil that we're zooming into here. Let's take a look at the BAS network architectural layout. Zooming in, you can see the orange wire is the one pair shielded. So that's what's connecting all the controllers, and they all link up to the main JACE on the left side. Okay, so here's all the controllers. Uh, you got all the field controllers there for the air handler units, and then these into the DISTEC uh, JACE controller here, the main controller. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit, but there it all is, that's where all the controls are at. So you're looking at the field controllers here, you got air handler 1, 2, 3, boiler 1, 2, and then up there is all the transformers. So the field controllers feed into the main controller, and this is where the computer's plugged in. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi disabled, but the uh, we're tied straight into the computer, and that's what we're getting our graphics off of. Here's the cut sheet for the Jace 8000. It's a disc tech. And here is the field controllers. Uh, this is for the boiler. Uh, you can see it's a 29 point, or sorry, 28 point. Um, here's the air handler controllers. And then here's some of the graphics. So this is the home screen. I've blocked out some of the information to protect the customer the floor plan, the hot water system, and finally one of the air handler units. So there you have it, the site overview. Hopefully this lesson was helpful. You know, we looked at a lot of different things and what I really need from you is, was it helpful? Did you gain any knowledge from it? What would you like to see me dive into a little more, less? Do you want to see the actual equipment? Do you want to spend more time on schematics? Do you want to see other sites? You know, I got a, I got a list of sites that I can visit, different sizes. Um, really, I just need to know if this was worth my time editing and making this video. I'm trying to learn as I go, and hopefully creating these videos, you can learn as well. You can gain some knowledge. But again, need your feedback. Please subscribe. Leave some comments, shoot me a message, let me know, was it helpful, what can I do better, what would you like to see. Thanks for watching.